Uh, okay, cool. So let's say that in seals, I actually like seals. Um, the gene for the length of whiskers has two alleles, right? The dominant allele W codes for long whiskers. Every time you see these problems, write stuff down. W equals long whiskers. Uh-oh, I'm doing that thing again. Good. And the recessive allele W codes for short whiskers. So put so this is a big W. Let's make this obviously big. Make this little. Short whiskers. Does that make sense, everybody? So <clears throat> it says that the question, next question, we're now on part A. It says, what percentage of the offspring would be expected to have short whiskers from a cross of two long whiskered seals, one that is homozygous dominant, and one that is heterozygous? OK, so what is homozygous dominant genotype? What is in the genes, OK? So we're crossing, everyone take a look. We are, whoa, we are crossing two long whiskered seals, one that is homozygous dominant, and one that is heterozygous. So what is the genotype of the, uh, one of the long whiskered? Yes, McH Madison. So two big W's, does that make sense? And Damon, what does the heterozygote look like? Big W. Big W? Here's my little W, kind of looks like that, OK? Does everybody see that? And then I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, what are you laughing at? Is it Halo? Well, how, how do you make a small W look different from a big one? You tell me, huh? OK. Now I put these uh, <laughs> I put these on here. Whoa, that's a big one. And here's another big one. And look, it's got a loop because it's a little one. And I, uh, everyone see why I did that, right? Hey, everybody, what does each of these, these W's up here represent? Whiskers. Whiskers. Okay, no. Okay, well, uh, whiskers. Alleles. Alleles in what? Whiskers. No, in what? Alleles. No. Alleles. Go back. Alleles. Okay, well, how are they transmitted to offspring? In what? Uh, yes, keep going. Sperm? Yes, Robbie said it. Sperm and eggs, right? So just make sure that these, each one of these represents a possible sperm, right? Right? Or a possible egg. Does that make sense? Just to keep that in mind. Big W, big W, big W, big W. And then we got little W, big W, and then little W, big W. Okay? Does that make sense? Now, we are going to do the ratios right now. So go back to black. Um, so phenotypic ratio. Oh my gosh, stop that. Is this all in A? Yeah, yes. Phenotypic ratio. What would that be? What does everything look like? What does everything have? Raise your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave Chu. What does everything look like? Everything has long whiskers, right? So basically, you can just write it's 1 to 0, 4 to 0, or you can just say all long whiskers, right? Because remember, phenotype means what do they look like. Does that make sense how they all would have long whiskers? Now, what about the genotypic ratio? Hold on. Uh, and I'll separate this with the little box. What is the genotypic ratio? Who can tell me? What is it? Garrett. Tell me the genotypic ratio. <laughs> OK. Um, anybody else? Joe? One to one. One to one. But this is how you'd write it. It's actually two to two, right? Jeez, man, stop that. Two big W, big W's to two big W, Your attention, little W, right? That the and that goes to the next two to two. Yeah. Or one to one. Does that make sense? Do you guys see the difference in genotypic phenotypic ratios now? All right. So we're gonna stop. Get say something. No, this is like okay. 